guys, welcome back. Today we're going to ramp things up a bit. High speed cameras have gotten insanely fast and they pair nicely with rigs that can actually keep up. These cameras are capable of achieving some really impressive frame rates and many times the action is happening in a fraction of a second. Now, just to make sure that everyone is on the same page, video is just a sequence of still images, also known as frames. The rate in which the camera captures these frames is known as the frame rate and it is measured as frames per second. If the recording frame rate matches the playback frame rate, you get normal speed video, kind of like the video you're watching right now. If the recording frame rate is higher than the playback frame rate, you get slow motion video. This clip was filmed at 1000 frames per second and played back at 24 frames per second, which means that one second of filming equals over 40 seconds of footage. That's a lot of footage. Fun fact, it's called footage because in the film days, rolls of film were measured in feet. All right, so hopefully at this point, you can already start to appreciate why high-speed robots pair so nicely with high-speed cameras. Whenever we want to slow down time, we know that we need to capture more frames in a smaller amount of time. And this means that if we want to feel the camera movement, then we need to be able to move the camera fast enough to complete that movement in that smaller amount of time. And this is where the Bolt lineup really shines. The Bolt is capable of moving the camera around 22 feet per second with just the arm, and it can achieve speeds of around 38 feet per second when you pair it with the track. And while these numbers are already really impressive, the most insane part of all is that it can achieve these speeds in a fraction of a second. We can literally defy gravity with these high speed rigs. I've already covered the specs of each rig in detail in a previous video if you're interested in learning more. Since we're moving at these higher speeds, precision is even more critical than it normally would be. Imagine trying to pull focus by hand on something even as simple as a dolly movement, but the action is happening in a tenth of a second. Or try tracking an object as it's falling and keep it perfectly in frame over and over again. I'm not saying that these things are impossible, but they are a whole hell of a lot easier with robots. Another thing worth mentioning is that art can get expensive and it can be time consuming to set up and reset in between takes on these high speed shoots. <laughs> so it's definitely worth using a high speed motion control rig so that you can guarantee that the camera, focus, triggers, lighting cues, backgrounds, model movers, and any other systems that are tied into your motion control system will all be dialed and perfect for every take. And even if your creative doesn't call for blistering camera speeds, I'd still encourage you to incorporate high speed motion control in your next project because sometimes it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Now, I can definitely agree that not every shot needs motion and not every shot needs to be the most interesting or most dynamic thing in the world. It definitely depends on what the story calls for. But in the commercial world, engagement is the name of the game. Attention is a hot commodity and you only have a brief window to capture your audience since they didn't exactly choose to watch your content. By making your content more interesting and more engaging, you're sending a message that you value their time and their attention and you're willing to put money and effort into their viewing experience. There are definitely some extra considerations when using high-speed robots, uh, but it is so fun and so rewarding to be able to say yes anytime someone asks, can we make the move a little faster? <laughs> well, that is it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in to MRMC Academy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and hit me up on Instagram if you'd like to connect. Until next time, peace.